Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the first video in the Level 3 Electricity Series, um, where I've divided electricity into four sections, advanced circuits, capacitors, inductors, and AC electricity. And this is the first video in the advanced circuits section, where I'm looking at internal resistance. So we're going to start by looking at this FET simulation. So here I've built a little circuit with a battery and a um, switch and a bulb. At the moment, it's an ideal battery. So it's a 9 volt battery. It measures across here 9 volts. If I move the voltmeter side to side, I still measure 9 volts. And I keep moving them side to side around the circuit, I'm still going to measure 9 volts. Um, the point I'm getting to here is I want you to realize that measuring the voltage over the bulb in this set is exactly the same as measuring the voltage over the um, battery. Okay, I'll just move those probes out and out until they get around and over the battery. Over the bulb, sorry. So, 9 volts, ideal battery, very nice. Um, when the circuit is open, it's still 9 volts as well. That's what we measure. So what I can actually do with this is, um, even though this battery is ideal, I can add some resistance within the battery. And this is what happens in real life. Batteries aren't ideal in real life. Um, they're not perfect. There's chances for electrical energy to turn into heat. Um, and I've turned that on. It's a 1 ohm. The resistance of the light bulb is 10 ohms. I turn it on and what do you notice straight away is that the voltage across the battery drops down to 8.18. I turn it off, it's 9 volts again. Um, so something strange is happening here. Where the voltage should be 9 volts but I'm measuring much, much less. And this is uh, due to this concept of internal resistance which we're going to explore further in this video. So my ideal battery um, circuit that I had before is this. I've got my one light bulb and 9 volt battery and I've done my voltage probe in a slightly different colour so you can see that it's, it's measuring within the circuit um, and don't think of it as another section of the circuit. So the, the voltage I measured was 9 volts. Internal resistance is, is imperfections in the battery or the power pack um, which cause it to lose some energy to heat. The way we draw that is we, we draw this dash line to represent the whole um, battery. Within that it has a supply of power, those are the two dashed lines, and then the resistor symbol to show that there is resistance within this battery. So resistance you can think of as equivalent to um, friction, when you've got um, mechanical objects moving. Friction in a circuit, just like friction in anything moving, converts something to heat. And so in this case, resistance converts electrical energy to heat, um, and that's what's happening inside the battery because the battery is not ideal. The reason the battery is not ideal, or the reason we can lose energy to heat, is multiple reasons, um, including the chemical reaction that happens within a, a chemical battery, the materials it's made of, how old it is, um, the amount of charge left remaining in it. The temperature also contributes to um, internal resistance as well. So when you come across a battery and you say, oh, it's flat, it's run out of charge, it still has a, um, a, su a supply of charge. But what's happened is um, there's, there's so many... I guess you could say in an analogy used up atoms or used up um, chemicals that get in the way and what that does is it increases the resistance and, and you lose more energy um, to heat within that battery. With our, um, our circuit with an uh, internal resistance in it and we're measuring the voltage over that, we've got to think of um, two different types of voltages. So the first is a new term called EMF which stands for electromotive force. And it's what you would measure when there's nothing connected. So in the simulation, when the switch was open, as is in this um, diagram here, I measured the true 9 volts. Okay, and that's the EMF. The symbol for that is a Greek letter, uh, epsilon. And so in this case here, the EMF is 9 volts. When the um, switch is closed, the circuit is complete, and then I measured 8.18 volts. So now I'm separating this idea of EMF, which is the, the open circuit, which is kind of the true voltage which is what the battery should be supplying if there was no resistance. And the voltage I measure when everything's connected up and current flows is now this lesser value of 8.18 in this case. So you can think of it as, um, I like to think of this as an energy problem, where the EMF, or that funny E, the 9 volts, is what's supplied by the battery, and then what's used up is used up between the internal resistance and the lamp, which is what I measure as the V. Um, so I know, because it, when it was unconnected, it was 9 volts, that's what's supplied. I know that the lamp 
when it is connected is using 8.18 and so the difference must be what's being used up in the internal resistance and so the difference between 9 and 8.18 is 0 0.82 so in summary voltage sources like batteries and power packs are not perfect they have internal resistance um, but that internal resistance you'll see it's only measurable when there's a circuit complete and current is flowing when i had the switch open i just measured the true value it was only when the switch was closed and the light bulb was on that i measured the lesser value so the open voltage circuit is called your emf it has a symbol uh, epsilon and we can write this equation which which i see as an energy equation what's supplied is the emf and it's split between the internal uh, resistor and the light bulb 